Hi, I'm in the sanctuary and it's beautiful in here. The sun is coming through the stained glass windows uh, and it's, it's so surreal and you probably can see it behind me, but I'm standing in front of the main glass stained windows of our church and I'm like, no, I gotta say something. So we're continuing our study of what is a church community. Remember, church is not a building. Even though I'm in the sanctuary at Miami Temple, this is not the church. A church is a group of Jesus followers who live and love in such a way that lives and communities are transformed. So we've been looking at Paul's description, the characteristics of what a church community should have. And today we're looking at Romans 12, 10, where it says to devote yourselves to one another in love. That word devote means to, to give of your time, to give of your money, to give of yourselves to someone else. My friends, coming to church on a Saturday or Sunday, that's not devotion. To be devoted to one another means that, man, you're going to check up on that person. You're going to spend time. You're going to spend money, right? That's what it means. So we need to learn how to live and love in such a way that the world will say, well, why is it that, you know, Lafitte spends so much time with, yeah, okay, so he's the pastor. Which, by the way, that's not my job as a pastor. Some people feel that my job as a pastor is to visit the members, to call them when they're missing. But that's not my job, friends. That's my responsibility as a Christian. By the way, if you're a Jesus follower, that's your responsibility too. So wait a minute, wait a minute. What is the job of the pastor? The job of the pastor, according to the Bible, is to equip and train the members the Jesus followers on how to live and love like Jesus. That's why I make these videos. That's why I preach. And so the devotion to one another, that's not just the pastor to the members. It's the members being devoted to one another in time and love and money and efforts. Wow. No wonder the early church grew like wildfire. Can we do that again? My challenge to you today, who can you devote time in your community of Jesus followers? Who can you devote time, money, and effort? Because if you're not doing that, you're not part of a church community. You're, you could be a church member, but you're not part of the community that Jesus left behind. And that's my thought as I stand admiring these beautiful stained glass windows. God bless you. See you tomorrow.